Assalamu alaikum. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is Mushfiq from masjidppe.co.uk. This is a short video to talk about prayer mats and what policies a masjid should ad adopt regarding people um, bringing their own prayer mats or whether the masjid is going to provide disposable prayer mats, prayer mats or not. Firstly, um, it's very, uh, it's a really, it's one of the most important issues um, because, and it's something that all masjid trustees and management need to think about, that how are we going to protect our musallis, our worshippers from um, when they pray in the masjid on the carpet. So some masjids, they're going to clean their carpets um, regularly, but even then, every time somebody comes in, there is a risk of cross-contamination. There's a risk of them bringing in something from outside, leaving it on the carpet. It's almost impractical and impossible to clean carpets between every prayer, unless there is you know, a small masjid and have a dedicated team. So the other options are to put something over the carpet after we clean them. So some people are opting for putting down a uh, piece of lionel, you know, with the uh, gaps marked out, and then people will bring their own prayer mat or they'll be provided with one. Generally, there are two things. One is that we all have regular five-time uh, worshippers at most masjids, especially small to medium-sized masjids. The large masjids, they have a different policy and, and a different you know, issue that they need to deal with. But I'm talking to the majority of the masjid that are small to medium size. You should know who your regular worshippers are. In general, you would know who they are and you would ask them to identify and um, select one you know, small thin prayer mat for use in the masjid. They should be advised to wash this prayer mat and bring it in a clean bag to the masjid. They can either mark the bag, leave it in, or you could consider um, buying, the masjid could uh, uh, install small mobile phone or tablet um, lockers. You know, they're small lockers, um, they cost about £20 if you look online, um, educational suppliers or locker suppliers, there are lots and lots of different options. The smaller the better, um, if you have a small masjid and you have 20, 30 people, you could you know, install 40 uh, lockers and a key could be given at a small cost to uh, the regular worshippers. But the idea is that those who come for regular prayer need to be trained and advised to bring a clean prayer mat that they isolate and only use for the masjid. So when they go home, they don't you know, use this masjid, any, uh, this prayer mat anywhere else and they bring it to the masjid or they leave it at the masjid in a secure place. As for Jummah, that's really complicated because there are lots of different people coming. And our advice to everybody for Jummah, for both all mosques really, small or large, is to adopt the... Um, disposable prayer mats um, they come on a roll like this um, this is a single one that's been ripped out you know it has a uh, a tissue paper covering at the front and on and the back of it it's got a plastic lining very thin lining so it's waterproof it doesn't let any fluids through either way and then these can be folded up and you know or, um, the people can take them with them or they can be disposed of they cost about um 14 15 pence each and you could you should consider using these um, for Friday prayers only and you have these on standby um, at you know everyday use that so if somebody does turn up, does turn up and they don't have a prayer mat you could give them one for uh, for regular use the other option that masjids um, could consider is having their own very thin um, cloth prayer mat uh, again you can get these um, we can get these for you um, in different uh, thicknesses and weights and with or without plastic backing, you can have them printed with your own colors, for example. And these are more durable. They can be used for about a week. Um, if you get the slightly thicker one, you can people can wash them and reuse them. The thinner ones with plastic can be used for at least a week. And again, people can keep them in their pockets or they can keep them in a bag or somewhere safe in the machine and they should be used regularly. The third option is to obviously provide or sell one of these uh, more slightly thicker cloth uh, prayer mats but again there's the issue of cross contamination on these and we need to have a very strict policy of how we make sure that people don't bring in something contaminated from outside contaminate the masjid carpet and then it's then passed on so fridays please consider using the uh, disposable prayer mats you can buy them in single packs as well we have those and or you can buy them in a roll and um, adopt whichever policy you do. But whatever you do, please make sure that you advise, guide, and train your Muslims, train the worshippers coming to the masjid, so that they understand why these rules are, what they're for. It's there to protect them and everybody else. Jazakallah.